Hey everyone, Quick Biochemistry Basics here. Let's talk about electron transport chain. The phenomenon in which the electrons donated by electron donors like NADH and FADH2 are transferred from one electron carrier to another and finally acceptors like oxygen is called electron transport chain. During this process, the H plus ions are transferred across the mitochondrial membrane. The eukaryotic cells have many mitochondria that can be isolated by cell fractionation technique. In this process, the cells are lysed with mild detergent and centrifuged. Mitochondria are obtained by centrifugation at 20,000 G for about 15 minutes. If we take the suspension of mitochondria along with NADH and keep it in absence of oxygen and measure the pH, then nothing happens. The pH remains constant. As soon as oxygen is added, the pH of solution outside mitochondria drops. This means the H plus ions from mitochondrial matrix are transferred out of mitochondria leading to pH drop. Now if the concentration of NADH is known, that is, number of moles of NADH used for this process is known, then based on the information of pH drop, the number of H plus ions pumped out per molecule of NADH can be calculated. The same experiment can be repeated with FADH2 to see how many H plus ions are pumped out per molecule of FADH2. It turns out that for each molecule of NADH, about 10 H plus ions are transferred across the mitochondrial membrane, and for each molecule of FADH2, about 6 H plus ions are transferred across the membrane. The outer mitochondrial membrane can be removed by the treatment with detergent like digitonin. The fragments of inner mitochondrial membrane can be obtained by osmotic rupture and they can be dissolved by a detergent. The proteins present in the fragments of inner mitochondrial membrane can be separated by ion exchange chromatography. These resolved components are known as complex 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Complex 1 is known as NADH dehydrogenase. It oxidizes NADH to NAD plus and reduces ubiquinone to QH2. Complex 2 is known as succinate dehydrogenase, the enzyme involved in TCA cycle. This complex converts succinate to fumarate and forms FADH2. FADH2 is further oxidized by donating its 2H plus to ubiquinone. The complex 3 is known as cytochrome B7 complex, also known as ubiquinone cytochrome C oxidoreductase. It oxidizes QH2 and the electrons removed during this process are donated to cytochrome C and finally cytochrome C gets reduced. The complex 4 is known as cytochrome oxidase. It removes electrons from reduced cytochrome C and donates it to molecular oxygen which forms water. The complex 5 is known as ATP synthase. In its purified form, it hydrolyzes ATP to ADP and PI. However, when it is present intact in inner mitochondrial membrane, it uses the protein gradient across the mitochondrial membrane to generate ATP.